16 right now, a safety for New Orleans. They still trail the lines. This is Atlanta, Washington. Here is Kilmer going to Frank Grant down to the six yard line. Early in this contest in RFK Stadium, Mark Mosley kicked a 26 yard field goal. 3 0, the Redskins were in front. Now here's a play that might have turned the game completely around. Could have been a Redskin route. Watch Kilmer. Scrambles around. He's got Fugit. Fugit spots Riggins. There's the old Sandlot pitch. Looks like a touchdown, but a holding penalty brings it back. Does not count. Now watch the pressure that Atlanta applies on Billy Kilmer. I'll tell you, this Atlanta defense looked pretty good here the first couple weeks of the season. Scott Hunter, who has replaced the injured Bartkowski at quarterback. Watch Alfred Jenkins. That's the 11-yard line. Then the Redskins held. So it was Mickemeyer kicking a 23-yard field goal. And just tied it at three. Now the Redskins drive for the lead. Kilmer wants Taylor. Spots him over the middle. He gets to the eight-yard line. Now he wants his running back. Thomas, 22. Easy touchdown against the linebacker, so they got about eight minutes to go in that game. It was 10-6, Atlanta trailing. Irv. Brent, I'm listening to the Detroit-New Orleans game right now, and of course, Detroit leads that game at the Silverdome by a score of 23 to 16, and New Orleans has the ball at midfield right now, but Greg Landry in the first half gets things started early through the air. He hits Ray Jarvis on a 15-yard gain here. Goes back to the air once again, this time going to number 86, J.D. Hill, a great sprinter on the, sprinter on the outside. Detroit draws first blood and leaves 7-0. Detroit second and 18 this time in Detroit on the 38-yard line. Landry feeling great pressure is hit from behind by Bobby Pollard. New Orleans recovers the ball, setting up a scoring opportunity by Chuck Muncie. Muncie this time going out on a run option pass, decides to pull the ball down and goes the whole route, 32 y yards. He legs it in for a score and ties it 7-7. Punt coming up this time, Detroit from their own end zone. Summers tries to get the ball away, but Tommy Myers in New Orleans blocks it. The ball's recovered in the end zone by New Orleans, and the Saints take a lead temporarily, 14-7. Detroit is not dismayed by that play. Landry comes right back, this time hitting Charlie Sanders for a touchdown. And on that play, Charlie Sanders became the all-time Detroit Lions receiver. 14-17 at that point, Detroit ahead. And then this time, Horace King goes over, takes a temporary lead for the Lions. The Lions still lead it in the fourth quarter by a score of 23-16. Irv, while you were doing that highlight package, I see that Billy Kilmer has the Redskins on the move in the fourth quarter in that game. But let me show you a couple of plays now from St. Louis and Chicago. Cardinals in white. Here is Hart. Watch Harris on the sideline. Now watch this next catch. It is the play of the day, without a doubt. J.V. Kane, how in the world does he pull this one in? Hart, a pie, goes Kane, one hand he's got the ball, pulls it down. Touchdown for St. Louis. It is 13-3. Irv, that was some catch. How about the Dallas Giants? Yeah, great catch. Of course, the one thing the New York Giants could not do is turn the ball over, and they did it. Of course, the Dallas Cowboys lead at halftime by a commanding 31-7 score. Jerry Goldstein, early in the game, goes to the air and doesn't see D.D. Lewis, a linebacker here, as Lewis picks the ball off here, bringing the ball back inside the 10-yard line, setting up a Dallas Cowboys scoring opportunity. Third and two on the giant two-yard line. Roger Staubach runs a quarterback draw. He pulls in for a touchdown. Dallas leads seven nothing. Dallas again this time. Third and four on the giant 10. Staubach goes to Preston Pearson. Score, Dallas 14, Giants nothing. Dallas second and seven this time on a giant 43-yard line. Roger Staubach goes to Tony Dorsett. And look at this young man run. He's finally knocked down here, but a couple of things happen. Kelly and Carson were both knocked out of the game, and there's a young linebacker, Carson, going out to the ball game. Dallas third and 12 on a giant 32. Staubach goes to Drew Pearson, takes the ball down to the one-foot line. Doug Dennison does the rest, goes over, 21-0. Dallas, Giants this time, TD run by Tony Dorsett, his first touchdown as a pro, and Dallas leads 28 to nothing. He's pretty happy about that. Second and 21 on the Dallas one-yard line. Willie Spencer goes in for a score, but Dallas has a commanding lead, 31-7 at halftime, Brent. Irvo, you were looking at Dallas and the Giants. Atlanta hell Washington still in the fourth quarter. 10-6, Redskins clinging to that lead. Again in baseball, Yankees routing Toronto in game one. Boston ahead of Detroit, 9-2 in the sixth. Cleveland ahead of Baltimore, 5-4. That game is in the sixth. The NFL today will continue on CBS in just a moment. Want to cut your fuel bills? Whether your house is hotter, 
than it was. Maybe it's just beginning to get...